trying to think how I was going to do this. The best way I can think of is this is going to be the first six months of me having the tires and the trips I've been on and showing me using them how I like them uh, throughout the, this whole six month period. And at the end, I'm going to go up and wrap it all up with some uh, Q&A. You guys ask some questions. I'm going to answer those questions. So here we go. So before we begin, here is a quick little montage of my Radar Renegade tires. Dixie National Forest in Southwest Utah, about to try out our Radar Renegades RTs. See how they function on the snow, how they function on the ice, how they function on the snow ice combo on some back roads here in the beautiful state of Utah. <laughs> On the sunny side of the mountain means it gets snow then it gets sun and then freezes overnight so all the snow now is pretty much a layer of snow ice more or less so we're gonna try out see how, how well it does on this kind of slick icy road <laughs> to do some braking tests here on this frozen and melted ice snow and to see how it uh, holds up. I'm full-time four-wheel drive and I'm in high so that's just fine. I got no option to two-wheel drive so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Alright so we're driving down a pretty narrow mountain road and all of a sudden in the road there's a fallen log that's smoldering and then we can see down here in the distance everything's on fire uh, i think we're gonna have to turn around because our route goes that <laughs> burn we we're uh, looking for some sort of animals so far we saw a bobcat yesterday and two very aggressive squirrels when i was trying to take a dump we try moose
we have went approximately about 100 125 miles on dirt 150 miles on dirt and these radar tires held up really really well a really great traction um they fit on the rocks i mean i hit some pretty sharp rocks and I, I don't really have any cuts and they gripped really nicely i got zero complaints the big test is going to be neck in, in three weeks when we are actually headed to nevada and we're going to cross 700 miles of dirt so we're going to test them out this was a good break-in trip and i am fully confident that uh we'll be fine let's see Canyon area where all the mud was going to be. Now we're headed to something called a petrified forest. And after the petrified forest, we'll go to the fly geyser, followed by Burning Man. Hell! Good morning. Well, it is day three, and we stayed uh, here on the the Black Rock Playa, which is where they do Burning Man. Uh, uh, I told you last night that yeah, that's where we're gonna stay. It's not quite in the plan. We were gonna push a little further, but it just it worked out great. I wanted to stay here, and they wanted to stay here because we were racing up and down the desert, which is always awesome. Uh, today we do have a long ways to go to get that over there to get gas, and then push south. It's gonna be a longer day, but I mean, hey, we're outside, have a good time. <music> so here is a perfect example why airing down is beneficial you see how the tire now wraps to the rock well, that does provide you a significant amount of traction compared to if you were aired up. Well, we are on the morning of the final day. We're at 900 and I think 26 miles right now. We made camp here last night, just north of Vegas on something called Alamo Road. And now we got the final push down to the valley to finish the trip. Hopefully at the end, you have a good overlook of uh, Vegas itself. It's been an adventure. It definitely has been an adventure. <laughs> All right, my first question is from ladies and landies and gentlemen. Uh, Nevada has loads of rocks. That should be a good test. Yeah, Nevada was a great test for the tires. We went 900 miles, 900 miles of of trail the entire time from the northwest corner down to all the way to Vegas. And the tires were great. No flats, no issues. Went through tons of the sharp cactuses and rocks and sticks. No problem. So Nevada was a really good test. Uh, they handled really well. Zero issues. So yeah, you're correct. Nevada was a good test. Next question is from Mots, the LR3, asks, so you have them on for about a week now. How are they on the road? On the road, they're actually really nice tires. They do well in the rain. They, the road noise is almost nothing. It sounds, I mean, I've, 
multiple different types of tires throughout the years, whether mud terrains or all terrains. And these definitely, uh, the road noise is nothing. I, I consider them negligible uh, as far as tires go. So I, I really like them. They handle really, real, handle really well on the road. I have no issues with them at all. Um, I do like them. I've, I've drive 90 miles an hour. I have off ramps. I had tires I had before when it rained. I was nervous about going, you know, 75 on a, on an off ramp, but on these, they, they, I've never had any kind of slippage or anything like that. So really solid. So next question is from LRO Overland or underscore Overland. I like to move to these. I have the AT5s, which is another version of tires, the radar cells. Uh, they, uh, they do, but they have the AT5, I have the AT5, they do, but at 265, they rub, question mark, exclamation point. So I, I think the question is, are you asking if they rub or the ones you have rub? Either way, I have the Radar Renegade RTs, which is like a hybrid between a mud terrain and an all terrain, and they're 275, 65 on a rim that is 18. And they don't rub when I turn. They don't know, rub when I drive around. If I hit a really hard bump or something like that, they might scrape the top of the, of the wheel well. But that's, but as far as like rubbing in daily operations, no, they don't, they don't do that at all. So I don't know about the 265. It depends. Is it 265, 75, 265, 65, 55? It depends on the size you get. So it just depends, uh, on the tire. I just know the only tires I've used, uh, in the last few years have been 275, 65 on an 18. And I have no problems. Next question is from the Red Wheelbarrow 14. I like that. Uh, what size slash model radars did you get? I have the Radar Renegade RT, which is, let me look over here, my little sheet. It's considered all season rugged terrain. That's what it stands for. They're an all season SUV light truck tire for rugged terrain plus mud and snow. Uh, I would consider it like a hybrid. It's not quite a mud tire and it's not an all-terrain tire. It's, it's a it's a good blend of both worlds. It handles really well off-road and it handles really well on um on the trail. Or off-road is the trail. <laughs> off-road, on the trail, and on the road. Uh the size, I know I said it before, but I'll say it again. I I have 275, 65 on a rim that is size 18, which is the factory rims. And they work great. All right, next question is from Johnny Slice. Johnny Slice asks, tell me why you chose them. Well, this is how it worked out. Radar, which is Omnibrand Tires, approached me and said, hey, we got these new rugged terrain tires coming. I said they have some tires coming out, uh, which they started with the rugged terrain, which is, like I said, is a, is a hybrid between an all-mud terrain and all-terrain tires. And they asked, hey, if we give you a set, will you use them and see how they work? And they're getting into the off-road tire business, right? And I said, sure. But I first was like, hey, I want your guys' uh, mud terrain. Because all my other tires were straight mud terrain, mud terrains. Uh, I never really went with the all-terrain route. Uh, and then when I started looking at what the uh, rugged terrains were, because it's it's like a I said, best of both worlds. Because the all-terrains are really bitching, and uh, the mud terrains are really bitching. But these are like, it's just a solid good hybrid. So I went with the rugged terrains with that hybrid to see if that uh, that works what what um what I like to do. And so far, I am really glad I chose these uh, because driving on, I, have, I drive, my, my, my car's a daily driver too. And going to and from work, I got no problem. And at the, at the mileage that they're predicted to get and they're warrantied at, that is freaking solid. So that's why I chose uh, these Radar Renegade RTs or Rugged Terrains over anything else. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with them. Uh, let's see. Uh, next question is from O. Underscore him, and he asked cost and road feel. So, uh, you can find them here on the Walmart website. It shows them rolling, rolling in at, uh, so these size I have right here pulled up is 285.70 on a 17 inch rim. And they work out to 238.36 per tire. And if you go to the checkout, it shows it at 953.44 uh, for a set of four, which is pretty good for, uh, an E rated, uh, tire so that's how much it costs road feel like i was saying in some of the other the other questions that were asked on the road they're solid they feel i mean it's like driving a i don't know it's not like driving an off-road tire on the road it rain there's great it worked great in the snow when i was going up in utah uh 
they feel solid like they're stuck to the ground. Even at speed, I mean, I, I know you're not supposed to, but I do drive at 90 miles an hour sometimes, and they, they feel fine. I'm not saying you should, but, I mean, if, if you were to, they feel fine. I got no problem with it. Uh, so that's how they feel. Question, Overland underscore by underscore eBay asks, what do they smell like with a monocle? I say they smell like uh, like a rubber compound. I mean, that's what they normally smell like. Uh, I haven't smelled them recently, so I might have to get back to you. But right now, like a like a rubber, like a rubber compound, I guess that would be my best answer. I hope that answers your question. All right, next question is from GM underscore twenty five hundred HD, which I think stands for General Motors twenty five hundred heavy duty. But I, hey, what do I know? All right, his question is: How would they do on snow slash soft dirt? Too soon to know. What's the MPG difference? Uh, first question, let's go with snow and soft dirt. I just got back from Utah. Uh, you saw in the video, they, they, they worked excellent. I mean, it was the snow wasn't super deep or anything, but driving through like that old snow and ice, they, would, they, they worked really, really well. They felt super grippy. Um, soft dirt, like saying that's what all Nevada was. Zero issues. They handled really well on either like the dirt roads, just dirt roads themselves, or like the dirt trails. No problems, and they, they're really durable, so that was good. Uh, what's the MPG difference? I mean, bro, I don't know what to tell you. This My Land Rover gets probably 13 to 14 miles a gallon, and it still gets about 13 to 14 miles a gallon. I, I haven't really noticed if it went up or down or anything. I always run, like, mud terrain tires anyway, like E-rated, so heavier tires. Uh, it could be a little better, but I just I just don't know. I think, I think that my mileage is so bad on my truck, I just try to ignore it. Some of those things you just don't look at, hopefully you... If you, if you acknowledge it, then it's real. So I just try not to acknowledge it. Right. This question is from Dave, Overland Squirrel. He's asking, true height, the crazy difference between brand types. Uh, that is true because every brand, even though there's certain calculations, right? You can put in to say with at this width, at this height, at this rim size, this is the overall uh, size of the tire. If you go to exhibitionacademy.com, uh, which is my website, under my tools, which is like planning tools, one of them is a tire calculator. It links you to a tire calculator so you can you can figure out what your height is. It does from current to new as well. So I'm going to put it in real quick. 275, 65 at 18. And it gets me a two. So by the numbers, that's a 32.08 inch tires. 32 inch tires, right? With 10.83 inches wide. That's the width. Now, I got a video of me out there measuring the tires in the uh, out there in the the yard, so I'm gonna cut through that right now. I think it was like 31 something. I, I don't remember. Exactly. I think it was like 31 and a half, but uh, we're gonna go to it right now. Check it out. So these are 275.65 on an 18 inch rim at 50 psi. Starting at the middle, we are approximately. So doing my best, Zach Moore's calling a timeout. It's probably closer to like 31 and a quarter, maybe not 31 and a half. It's kind of hard to tell with the video and how I did it. But I would say 31 and a quarter, not 31 and a half. It's like 31 and a half. 31 and a half. There you have it. I wouldn't say it's a review. I would say it's a uh, a rundown of use over six months and you know ten thousand miles. So I I got a pretty good feel for the tires now, and I have no complaints. They've worked out great. They've held up. They haven't left me stranded. They do great on the road. The tread wear is I can't even tell they're worn right now, so it's really good. Uh, you have minor. I see there's some minor chunks out of the lugs, but nothing nothing significant considering uh, the type of training you're going through or that I've been through in them. Uh, I definitely see them lasting that 40, 45,000 miles, no problem, which is good in my books. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you don't subscribe to the channel, you can do so. If you like what you saw, if you want to see more of it, uh, subscribe and hit the little bell. If you hit the bell, what that does is it, rem it, it pops up on your screen saying, hey, there's a new video out. Uh, and um, yeah, that's it. Once again, stay safe, have fun, be prepared. And if you see me out there, say hi. Bye, guys.